Hello and welcome to this week's yarn chat. My name is Nicole and I'm the brains and the beauty behind Yarn Craft by Nicole. And I am coming to you a week earlier than my every two week schedule, but I have family coming in next week and this actually worked out a little bit better for me. So today we're going to talk about some things I'm working on, um, some cool releases that are coming out soon, and then um, beautiful yarn and a beautiful project back. So if that's your jam, uh, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Today I've got on my confetti DK pullover. I have not worn this since I had a baby, um, but it still fits, it still looks great. This is a pattern from Nomad Stitches and I absolutely love it. I think this might be the first pattern of hers that I've made and I'm a big fan. I used hand dyed yarn, I think the solids, so the dark blue, the orange, and the green color are all Haynes House. I'm not sure if they still dye yarn. They were on clearance when I bought them. And then this really pretty speckle orange is from Hedgehog Fibers. So I really like it. And since today is a celebratory episode, it made sense to wear a DK, oh, I'm sorry, a confetti <laughs> uh, pullover. So. I'm a big fan. She also has this, I think, for kid sizes too. So maybe my next one I need to make a mommy and me set. For finished objects, I actually don't have anything new finished yet, but I wanted to jump in here and show you this beautiful cowl. So you might remember this from last year. This is the, yeah, you're getting all of that good stuff right there. This is the front porch cowl from Sass and Stitch. And the reason I wanted to show it to you today is because her book that is coming out in September has the pre-order for it. Um, it started on Friday when I filmed this, so it's out now. You can check it out on her Instagram, Sass and Stitch. And it's got 15 patterns and they all use sock weight, hand dyed yarn, and they're all crochet patterns. And it's just a way of showing how special crochet can be and I really like it. I went ahead and pre-ordered my book, but this is one of the patterns that's in it. It's called the Front Porch Cowl. I really like it. Um, I used a sock set that had two mini skeins for this from Sunshine Fiber Arts. And I think I wanna make another one with scrappy yarn and make it like a double wrap cowl. But I really like this. Um, it uses a join as you go method. And there's actually a cardigan in the book called, I think it's either the adventure cardigan or choose your adventure cardigan. And all of it's a join as you go squares about this size. And I really want to make that. So um, if that's your jam, check it out. Sass and Stitch. The name of the book is called The Art of Crochet with Sock Weight Yarn. And I'm very excited about it. I'm also filming slightly differently today. I actually have natural light in, in the room where I film, which never happens. And so I had to change the camera around a little bit. So um, hope, hopefully you're enjoying the fact that we don't have to have lights on, uh, the ring light on really bright to see everything. This is called the front porch cowl. I think I said that, sass and stitch, go check it out. The other thing that I want to show you that is a current whip is my mom's Pebbled Path cardigan. So my, I was overly ambitious, if you recall, and I wanted to make, make my husband a Spider-Man vest and my mom a cardigan for their birthdays. Their birthdays are a day apart. They're both in like early-ish March and neither of their <laughs> presents were, were done by their birthday. Um, when I gave my mom her present, I just showed her the yarn and said, there's some assembly required. I will be assembling it because I knew that they would be coming back. Um, that, well, they would be coming up to New York um, first week of April. So next week or this week as you're watching it. And I could try to have it done by the time it left. So I had a little bit done the last time we talked. I think I had just started the bottom because I had <laughs> my husband's sweater it's still kind of in timeout because I need to finish my mom's cardigan first, but the bottom ribbing is all just, it's just too short and crochet ribbing because it goes um, side to side. You can't just like take it out and add a little bit more length. Like you have to take all of it out. I'm not emotionally ready for that. So his will just wait until 
I'm done with my mom's. So this is um, my fifth Pebbled Path cardigan. I actually tested this cardigan when it first released um, for Haley Handcrafted. I love her patterns. I test for her all the time. Um, but my friends and family really liked this. So several of them requested it, including my mom. And so let me show you what hers looks like. And I have made a couple of modifications to hers, which I will also put in the project page. So it's beautiful. It's green. She requested green. It's pretty close to the green I used for mine. I used Scout yarn. Ooh, I don't remember the brand, but I'm sure it's on the project page for that. Um, and I, I really like working with it. It's a gorgeous color, but it does pill a lot and it's 100% wool. And I wanted to make my mom one that was a little bit easier to care for. Um, not that she couldn't take care of something else, but I wanted it to be something that she could wear all the time and not worry about it. So this is Hobie Winter Glow Solid. And it is like half and half acrylic and wool. And it has a really pretty feel to it. It looks like it's um, single ply. I guess I can't really show you. I don't think my camera is good enough to pick that up anyway. But it works up really well. And I will say that I used... Hobie Winter Glow, the variegated version for my Canyon crew neck. And I really love the way it came out. It's gorgeous. But I did have more trouble with the yarn being thick and thin in that than I did with the solid. I am also pulling from the outside on the solid, so I'm not getting the knots that I had a little bit of issue with with the other Winter Glow. Um, but it's really not, the texture isn't as variegated in the solid. And I don't know if I just, if, I don't know if I just got some weird skeins of one or the other, but it has been easier to work with. So for this one, I made a couple of mods. One, the original pattern is like a thigh length cardigan. My mom is pretty petite. Uh, I think she's like five foot flat and, um, she doesn't really wear long cardigans. Like she would wear something that, that hit her about at her hip. Uh, but not much longer than that. So I made hers. It looks more cropped than it is, but on her, it it should hit her right about at her hip. And I also haven't blocked this yet. And because all of this um, crochet is uh, horizontal, as it grows, it will grow this way. So I didn't want to make it too long. So I took out, how many rows did I take out? I took out two of the bead stitch rows and then I took out several of the, the length here between the, the bead stitch and the bottom of the arms. The other change that I made is the ribbing on the interior. So like where the button band would be. Uh, I think it calls for, well, I don't remember what it calls for, but I did a yarn over slip stitch ribbing and I really like the way it looks for something different. I've used it before on a cardigan um, with another pattern test I did and I thought it would just look really pretty. I'm loving this. I have officially started one of the sleeves as of this morning when Melody was playing in the activity gym and it will not be finished by the time that my parents come in tomorrow but I'm kind of glad because I don't want to make the arms or I don't want to make the sleeves too long and It'll be nice for her to try it on. I've also never made my mom a garment, so I'm pretty excited about that. In fact, like, she'll get to try it on as I'm working on it. So that'll be good, but they're going to be here for a week and it should be finished by the end of the week. So very excited about that. Um, it also has pockets. I haven't done them yet. Part of the reason is that I want to make sure my mom wants the pockets. The other part is I want to make sure I have enough yarn. I should. Um, I still have two full skeins and then like maybe a fourth of a skein left. Um, so that should, that should be plenty enough for both sleeves and pockets, but I do want to make sure she wants the pockets before I do that. But I really like it. I think it's great. And I think that once I finish it, she and I will have to get pictures in our Pebble Path cardigans. And we're actually going to get to see my sister, who I also made a cardigan for like two years ago. And if uh if it's finished by the time i see her then we'll just have to get a picture of all three of us and them 
and that will be really cool. But yeah, Pebble Path Cardigan. I love this pattern. Um, when I made mine, I didn't give myself as much negative ease as I sh or as much positive ease as I should have. I still wear it all the time. It still fits great. Um, but it's not oversized. And I think that I want to make another one in maybe like Barocco Remix. Um, something that has a lot of texture in it. And like make it really oversized, make it longer. <laughs> Excuse me, make it really cozy. So who knows? Maybe there will be a sixth one in the works. One of the other things that I really like about Haley Handcraft did patterns is that they are recipe style. So it would be very easy for me to make MJ1 if I wanted to. So yeah, that is my only whip. But as promised, I have some really fun things to show you. Where do I want to start? I want to start with Terrapin Fiberworks. I cannot remember if I showed you this gorgeous skein, but this was the February colorway for the Steep Club, and it is gorgeous. My March colorway just shipped, and it's like this color green. It's really pretty. I'm making them in a, or I'm making a blanket with each um, months, and then at the end I'm going to sew them all together. And then I got four, five. I got five um, squares from each skein. So this was January's colorway. I have my five um, squares and this is the happily ever after grain square from crochet one two three knit two something like that I'll, I will have it down below um, it's a great pattern I really like it and it works out really prettily so I'm hoping to get going on these two because it like it's a cotton DK weight yarn and it's just so it's just so fun to work with and this color is going to be so pretty the green is going to be pretty I can't wait to see what April's colorway is going to look like she had a teaser picture I think it was blackberries so I'm excited about that okay so that's the that's terrapin the other thing I want to show you some other yarn that came in since we're talking about terrapin let's talk about more terrapin I saw this colorway she's been adding um, more colorways to her die to order catalog. And when this colorway first came out, it was a, um, trunk show colorway that she did with Firebird Yarns in San Francisco. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that is pretty. And when she added it to her die to order catalog, I knew I needed it. So this is called Hate Street, which is a street in San Francisco. And it is gorgeous. Like, almost kind of I'm not a huge unicorn person but it, it almost has unicorn vibes or like soft mermaid vibes it's delightful I got it on the Atlantic fingering base which is a mercerized pima cotton it is so soft and I'm gonna make a captiva crop with this from Murphy made crochet I'm very excited it'll be a fun summer top I've got to finish a lot of other things first but I now have the yarn which is delightful Terrapin Fiberworks Lila is amazing with cotton. I love her colorways. I'm really enjoying her Steep Club. Um, I'm a big fan of hers. If you're a cotton um, yarn fan, check her out. She's great. I also got my last Amanda's Knits um, mini club. She unfortunately is taking a break from her yarn business. Um, so this is the last mini club and I think she does still sit, have some things on her, um, website, but Amanda Knits, this was the last mini club and it's really pretty. Perfect for March. Um, the green is called Lucky Specs and then the, or the variegated green and then, the, um, this one's called Keep Calm and Leprechaun. I, um... I really like these minis. I was going to take a break from her subscription just because I hadn't figured out a plan for them yet. Um, but they're really fun. And I like them. But like I said, she is unfortunately, or not unfortunately, it's the right decision for her, um, taking a break from 
dying. So you might not be able to find those anymore. I also, <laughs> I, um, I bought some yarn from a D stash, hmm, maybe a month ago. And for whatever reason, the address that got put in was the correct street address, but the wrong city. So it went all over the place before it actually came to me. And I just got it. And I want to show it to you. So this one is called Alicia Goes Around. Is that the name of the company? Yeah, I think Alicia Goes Around is the name of the company. And Polkertude might be the name of the face. Um, it's a new to me. I really like it. Um, this. Yeah, at least she goes around because that's the name of the website on the back. Um, I don't see a, unless that's the name of the color, Polker Tuta Peacocks, um, a yarn colorway name, but it is so soft. I really like this kind of acidy yellow color. I was thinking of making a hat for myself, even though I don't typically wear many hats. Um, I really liked the Into the North hat I made for Vaughn and for MJ. And I thought I might make myself one. And then put the rest in my like DK quilt blanket that eventually I will work on again. Um, and I still might do that, but I don't know. Now that it's spring, I might just sit with them. They would look absolutely gorgeous with the yarn I got from um, our story. No, our yarn studio, not our story. Our yarn studio, this bad sheep yarn. I mean, come on. That will look really good. So I don't know if it'll still go into it, if it'll still be a hat, but they look pretty darn good together, if I do say so myself. So we'll see what that becomes. Um, I also got four skeins of Low Tide. I have heard really good things about this yarn and have never found it in a store. Um, it's from Lion Brand. And it's a chainette construction yarn. I think it is... Yeah, it's acrylic and polyester. It is very, very soft. And I don't know exactly what I want to make with it. I think maybe a Camaro crop top from TL Yarn Crafts. I think that would look really pretty. And I think I would wear this gray color. Like it would be good as a cover up for the pool or just as a cool summer top. Um, I thought about using it in the multitude of baby blankets that I need to make, but I don't know that it would be enough yarn on its own to make a full baby blanket since I have four skeins. It probably would be close. Um, and since it's such a unique construction of yarn, I don't think I would want to add a different kind of yarn in with it. So I think it'll become a garment of some type for me. I have four skeins of this. This is the color Driftwood, but I really like it. I'm a fan that I got it. And now at the end of the episode, let me tell you the exciting news. So I teased a couple weeks ago that we hit a thousand subscribers here on YouTube, which is amazing. I'm so thankful for that. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed, who has liked these videos, who watches. Um, it really means a lot to me that people I've never met are happy to see what I'm working on and I'm so happy to share it with you. So as a thank you, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for these three yarns. I can show them all together. I've got this beautiful skein from Pandemonium, which uh, Pandemonium Three Dye Works. She is a Georgia dyer. I picked it up when I was in my hometown, and it is a shop exclusive colorway for our yarn studio. I have a skein of Moon Drake Rose Quartz. This one I had to buy because it just looks like a celebration in a skein. It's got Stellina. It's got rainbow tweed. It's a blush color. It's really, really pretty. And this is the only, let's see. No, this is also fingering white. And then the last one, and the Stellina is copper. I don't know if you've ever seen copper Stellina. Um, it's very subtle in the skein and it's really not, it's not itchy to me at all. I'm a little jealous that someone else is gonna get this because it is so much fun. And then the last colorway that I have is from Kim Dyes Yarn. And this is from Kansas City, where my in-laws live. And this was a shop exclusive for 
why am I blanking on the name? Yarn Social in Kansas City. So in order to win these three skeins and possibly some other little goodies, what I want you to do is to comment down below on the video with a milestone that you are proud of. This could be something that you hit this past year. This could be something that you are looking forward to achieving, but let me know of a milestone that you were really proud of. Um, and which of these colors is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. I will uh, pick a winner by the next video. So in two weeks, I will pick a winner. I will never ask for your um, financial information. Um, I will not reply to your comment down below. I will say your name in the next video and then have you reach out to me to uh, email me to claim your prize. Um, please do not give out any of your personal information to anyone who asks for it. It is not me. Um, I will ask for your shipping information in a video in two weeks from now after you email me. That is all. Um, but yeah, comment down below with a milestone that you are really proud of this week, or I'm sorry, really proud of. And let me know which of these three colorways is your favorite. And with that, I will wrap it up with what I can't let go of. What I can't let go of is how grateful I am. We just got back from a three week long road trip that we got right at the end, or we got to take right at the end of my husband's parental leave. He got a lot of time off from work, which has been absolutely amazing for us to bond as a family. Um, for me not to feel stressed when he goes back to work, for him to feel really connected to our daughter. And that does not um, go unnoticed by me. And that, the fact that a lot of women who physically have babies um, don't get as much time off as he got. And I'm really, really thankful that we got that. And I'm really thankful that we got to make such a special road trip to see both of our families, for them to see our little girl and to just have um, time and space to figure out what our new normal is. I hope you have a great week. I will see you back in two weeks from now and comment down below with your milestone. Thanks guys.